Hi, my name is Megan Lane, author of Verbal Abuse and Relationships at Healthy Place. I am so excited to be blogging and sharing my old experiences and my breakthroughs with all of you. I started dating emotionally and verbally abusive men when I was 13 years old. Um, I kind of am like a magnet and I just, I attract these people who are hurtful to me. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. It probably has to do with my low self-esteem. Um, when I was 19 years old, I got married because I was pregnant with my beautiful daughter. She's nine years old now. Um, that marriage did not last very long. He was not very good to me. I don't know if I would call him abusive, but he wasn't good to me. And he made me feel, um, he made me feel like I didn't matter. Um, so I remarried a year later, you know, me and my codependent nature. And when I remarried, I stayed married for eight years to my second husband. He was the most verbally abusive man that I ever dated. He was disrespectful. He wasn't courteous. He stole from me, lied to me, cheated on me. He made me feel like I was undeserving, like I was undeserving of love. Um... You know, a lot of people ask me, why did I stay in a marriage for eight years when I, you know, why did I stay for eight years when somebody was so cruel to me? And the only answer I really could give is that, you know, I developed that mentality, that mentality that I really didn't matter. And he treated me like I didn't matter. And I started to really believe it. Um his constant deceit, the fact that he insulted my intelli in my intelligence, I'm sorry, he insulted my intelligence, he ran around and did whatever he wanted, he, you know, um, shouted obsc obscenities at me, he made me feel like a stranger in my own house, and I was afraid of him, and I just, you know, my goal for this blog is to tell men and women everywhere that Abuse is never okay. It doesn't, you know, there's never an excuse. If your girlfriend or your boyfriend is having a bad day and they're stressed out, that doesn't mean it's okay for them to displace their anger on you and verbally abuse you. That's never, ever, ever okay. Um, you know, I withstood verbal abuse for so long and I just, I want to be able to share those experiences with you in hopes of inspiring, inspiring you. Um, maybe you know, maybe it'll resonate with your own story. And, you know, the fact that I mustered up the courage after eight years to finally leave, you know, my second husband. And, you know, we've been se separated for seven or eight months now, and I'm doing much better than I expected. I'm dating again. Um, and this time I refuse to allow somebody to make me feel belittled. I refuse to allow somebody to make me feel like I don't deserve love because I am good enough. I'm good enough to be loved. I'm a survivor and so are all of you. Thank you.